Ladies, gentlemen, and every gorgeous person out there, welcome to the channel. I am your host, Virtua Lily, and today I have a bit of a special one for you as we dive deep into some of the really cool stuff that you can get to see in VR chat. Now, normally you'd be inclined to think VR chat as a bunch of cool worlds, fun stuff to see and do with your friends, sort of that type of thing. But there is a strong amount of people out there who have found it to be a tool for art and creativity. I myself being one of those who learned to paint outdoor scenery. And I've done this entirely using virtual reality spray cans in what would be essentially a free enemy waifu simulator. Today, I bring to you my top VRChat art prefabs and some of the really cool worlds that you can find and use these in. Starting off, we have the Ifude Calligraphy System. And in particular, I'm using the version that is in Life Drawing uh, by Tokyo. Now, this is a fairly popular art world, and it features the many creations from so many artists on VRChat. Considering the versatility of the system, it's easy to see why. The canvas and brush pretty much work like the same in real life, with brush strokes and different sizes at different pressures. What's really cool is that this brush can be customized. Sliders allow you to adjust the color of the palettes, the tones, as well as controlling the opacity levels of your brush. You can also have the option to change the size of your brush and swap between rounds and square brushes. You also have the option to change how the paint reacts, either as a watercolor or kind of makes it work more like a gouache or if not like a charcoal sort of effect with a little bit more texture. What's also useful is that you have the option to select any color you want, not only from the color palette, but anything you can see around you, from the environment to the very model you might be drawing there and then. Although it's a little hard to try and get that perfect sky color. And once you've played around with this a little bit, you can see how the brushes work with different ways to blend, smooth the paint around, as well as, you know, sort of the nice options that you get to choose your colors. And also you can get some really good results with this. With different styles and techniques, people have found so much expression in these worlds. I personally find the ability to get textured brushes or watercolor work really well here, as well as the choice in finding the perfect color in your environment to use. Blending can be a little bit tricky to do, so it does kind of work when you get into the right levels. So I highly recommend practicing this one and you can really get some genuinely good results here. And that's mostly down to just simply my experience with this system. But for that, I will have to give all of my time to the U Graffiti spray system developed by Nekome. Now, I have been following this creator for a good few years, and I've been painting for basically that long too. Something about the spray, the way the colors sort of blend, the feel of moving in the environment, and the style of graffiti cans, it just simply spoke to me. And also at the time, I so had to be learning Bob Ross painting too. And you may have caught my streams on those. And it's safe to say that I absolutely adore this system. In fairness, it's not super complex. Once you grab a can, you'll have a little UI that pops up on your opposite hand. And you have the choice of four different color palettes. You can also choose and swap and uh, customize your colors, the opacity, the density. And honestly, it's the opacity bar here that lets you choose how strong you want your spray and how soft it is. And in full honesty, that's pretty much it. These cans work the same as real ones with a cone that fades with distance which is affected also by the opacity levels too. And what I love is the lovely way that you can blend colors with sort of that airbrush feel, really smoothing and softening the areas whilst using the physical movement and the control of the cans. You can choose to get soft or if not hard lines and get the details where you really need them. And all this on a really large canvas wall, which is always hella hype. Getting your color choices here is a little tricky, as getting the color gradients that you want isn't super easy, and it will take a little bit of practice with changing the opacity and the spray levels to sort of 
get the more softer tones. But nonetheless, with just a little bit of practice, it's amazing to see what can be achieved with something so simple. I want to say a shout out to Dusty Dust Bunny and the VR Dance Academy, who is kind enough to let me host a painting class in VR chat. Now, I never would have known that I would be teaching a class across the world with a bunch of really cool nerds wanting to learn how to paint just happy little mountains, happy little trees. To be fair, it's kind of wild when you think about it. However, sometimes when I'm in sort of that comfy mood and I don't want to be moving around a lot, there is a prefab out there that I have absolutely loved to learn and get to know. And this is probably the best tool that I've come across in VR chat painting. The OK Drawing Prefab developed by the Oekaki Group. Now this has to be the most powerful and digital artist friendly system that I've seen for VRChat. That provides a fantastic great blending of the canvas, loading of the brushes with different colors, opacity levels, as well as erasers and brush sizes. But what's most interesting about this prefab is that it has layers. You can set between three different layers that can be operated independently and you can merge these into the background, allowing you to work more and build more and more on your paintings. And you can also apply these layers as overlay or multiply layers for different types of shading. These tools alone make the system incredibly powerful. However, it's only made better by how the brushes are really nice to work with. You can blend really well, move the paint around, tilt the brushes for different shapes, strokes, and even get different gradients loaded onto the same brush. You can blend between layers, changing how hard and soft the tool you need, and if needed, erase only just the layers you work in. I've absolutely fallen in love with this one, and I have so much more control with how I apply and move the paint. And to really get those sort of gradients that I really want, that you would find in a natural brush. And this is really nice to get sort of like those gradients, or those different details that I want in skies and clouds. And I can really sort of get that blue and that white round brush um, to sort of mix in really nicely and then soften those up when I need to with the blending. But also allows me sort of those digital aspects as well, allowing me to control sort of the shading, the colors, the blending, and sort of edit between different layers that I need to. And so that way I don't have too many little happy little accidents. Currently, shut up, Ken. Watch. Hey. Currently, I'm using this in a world called Fine Line. This is made by Sumeru. It's a comfortable little wintertime environment with lovely, comfy vibes, and I absolutely adore it. And it's really nice as you have comfy little tents to hang out in, some hot springs to take dip, and also feel free to explore as there are a couple little secrets to discover. I really can't recommend this world enough. All right, y'all, thank you all so much. And if you enjoy the stuff that I make here, please consider supporting me with any of the links down below in the description and consider subscribing, uh, maybe smashing other relevant buttons um, on your way out and grab one of those, uh, you know, videos around here um, on your continued binge. And I will let you all go. Take care and I will see you all on the next one. To lose. And, and shut up, cat. Silence. And do. Sure, silence. Little bit, little bit longer. Silence, cat.